Hi everybody, it's James of Crypto Conscious, and my, 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 isn't today a crazy day? The Cosmos is being hit harder than a Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank football. Look at that. So first we had the Juno scandal, with the ongoing lawsuits and a 90% drop in value. We've had the Terra Luna absolute catastrophe, a bear market making everything drop 80%, and now a theft of $5 million from Osmosis liquidity pools. So first I'm gonna explain the upgrade, what the new features are, how the hack happened, who did it, and what the solution is. So let's get bloody into it. So as we know already, from its all-time high, Osmosis has been hit really hard. We're looking at an 88.6% decline. I have lost a considerable amount of money on this, as Osmosis was one of my main bags. But I want to say thank you to the five people that bought me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. After losing tens of thousands of dollars, it does warm my heart to get a little bit back from the community. So I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. All right, so let's start with the upgrade then. So the upgrade is actually pretty good. This is the version 9 Nitrogen Upgrade, and it was released on June the 7th. These are the five key important upgrades, and they are actually relatively complex, and it's understandable that the team were focusing on these heavily. A particularly important one is people using the superfluid staking, which means when you put your assets in a liquidity pool, you're going to be able to stake as well your Osmo tokens, or part of your Osmo tokens, therefore increasing your return and reducing impermanent loss. What they're looking at later is an even cooler upgrade, and I believe it's called Interfluid Staking, where both your assets in the LP pool are also going to be able to be staked at the same time. Now, that is going to be a game changer for Osmosis, and I'm very excited about it. Another cool upgrade which is really great is the variable voting periods anyway if you want to learn more about these upgrades i'll leave the link down below but safe to say they're quite technical and they're quite decent now what happened well this brilliant website explains it way better than i ever could cryptoslate.com i'll leave the link down below so this bug was originally pointed out in a Reddit thread, can you believe? Gotta love bloody Reddit, haven't you? It's been my baby for years. It's even more of my baby now. Now I'm a moderator for the Cosmos Airdrops page. I'm also an admin for the Cosmos page on Facebook. There's two groups, mine is a spam free one. So firstly, it's claimed the exploiters stole 9 million in liquidity, but I think it appears to be more like 5 million based on other accounts. And this was done through the USDC Osmo pool. Pool 2. So basically, before you put your tokens in that pool, you convert them to GAM, GAM tokens. Now, if you don't put that GAM in the pool and you convert it back, the value of the tokens was increased by 50%. So it was a minor math calculation error that occurred during the upgrade. So if you keep putting your tokens in and taking them out and putting them in and taking them out and putting them in and taking them out, it is literally an unlimited free money glitch. Of course, until all liquidity is taken from the pools. As it says here, most of the proceeds were swapped for Atom and transferred to a wallet that contains 9 million worth of Atom. Then it was sent out to other wallets and of course tracked because the blockchain is immutable everybody can see every transaction on it and four attackers have over 95 percent of the share now this is where it gets absolutely bloody sad when we look at the who firestake comes forth now firestake validator have been a popular validator on the cosmos for some time with nearly 2,000 followers and they do delegations for all of these assets so after having this exploit, knowing that the wallets have been traced, this is what Firestake Validator released. Many of you know about the bug. In disbelief of it being real, two members of Firestake started testing to see if the bug existed. Testing. No harm in testing. Grew into a temporary lapse of good judgment. We converted $226 to $2 million, and then they wrote this. They could have just said, yeah, mate, we were testing it. We found $2 million. We're giving it back now. Nope, nope. They decided to use honesty. We were thinking about our family's future at the sacrifice of the integrity of one of the main pillars of the entire bloody cosmos after the lunar crash. Mate. Yeah, they're going to return the funds. Yes, they're working with Osmosis. As you can imagine, the backlash has been quite intense. Just have a look at these comments. This does also extend to Twitter, with many other validators clearly very angry. This is because validators are trusted on the platform. They are there to process transactions and, and uphold the safety and integrity of the entire system. And if they become corrupt, the whole system is damaged. Unfortunately or unfortunately, I'm not sure how I feel about this yet because it's so quick a reaction. They're going to be transferring their validator ownership to Kadabra Moon. They're no longer going to operate in the Cosmos ecosystem. Really, to be honest, it's a sad story all around. So let's look at what Osmosis are doing to try and fix the situation. So if you go to the Osmosis website, it tells you the chain has halted due to technical issues during the recent update. Great. Very clear to the point. Now, this is where the brilliance of the Osmosis team really comes into play. They are completely transparent from the beginning, and I respect and admire that because transparency, speed, identifying the issue, identifying how to resolve the issue, and resolving the issue are all incredibly important in this time phase, and they've done a great job of it. So, they're explaining thanks for being patient. They explain why transparency is important. 
they explained that all funds will be recovered. They haven't said they're going to reverse the transactions, but it looks like they might be taking a legal route to recover all of these funds. They're of course going to upgrade their security and their procedures before releasing a new upgrade. So recovering exploited funds, fortifying security and restarting the chain. The chain is expected to restart in a few days. And then of course, there'll be an even longer post-mortem to discuss what's going on. I've already seen code released online as to where the export lied. So they're doing a great job during a crisis. They minimize the loss of 5 million. They've chased two of the main perpetrators and they're gonna get refunded and all losses will be covered. So thanks to their speedy reaction and transparency, a massive crisis has been reverted. I read this represents less than 2% of total assets in the liquidity pools, a large amount, but not so large a hit. So they deserve a round of applause for being so quick and on point. As I said, my bags have already been hit harder than a Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank football. So what's a little bit more exit liquidity? I'll probably double my bag after this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Interfluid staking and I think the team has done an excellent job. The third inning is happening, so the rate of inflation is about to be reduced, and I have high hopes and expectations for the future. Osmosis has one of the best and cleanest user interfaces in the market. Like I said, the entire cosmos is getting crushed now, including our babies. Atom, Juno, and Osmo are all down. But like I said, I'm not going anywhere. All right, that's it from me. A very quick update today. Hope that filled you in on what's going on. It's James of Crypto Conscious. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you again.